We welcome everyone here uh, today on Good Friday on behalf of churches together in Gainford. Uh, please ignore some of the instructions on the, in the rubrics of your printed service sheet because we are not able to go outside onto public space. Um, there will be no announcements throughout the service as our readers and intercessor will come forward um, in due course. And the Psalm 22, which you will see on your sheets, is for all of us to say together, albeit for those who are not leading, please remain masked uh, during that time. We will pause, sh we will make short pauses at the black diamond of each verse. We are permitted um, to sing just with a small number of you and you know who you are um, so that we can begin to remember God in song as well. Let us worship. Almighty God, look with mercy on this, your family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ was content to be the betrayed and given up into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross. Who is alive? and glorified with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We will now sing the hymn. Thank <clears throat> the Saviour of the world was hung. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Look and see if there's any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his fierce anger. 
holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. O my people, O my church, what have I done to you, or in what have I offended you? Testify against me. I led you forth from the land of Egypt and delivered you by the waters of baptism, which you prepared a cross for your Saviour. Holy, holy God, God holy, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. I led you through the desert forty years and fed you with manna. I brought you through tribulation and penitence and gave you my body, the bread of heaven, but you prepared a cross for your Saviour. Holy, holy God, God, holy, holy and strong, strong holy, holy and immortal, immortal have, have mercy upon us. What more could I have done for you that I have not done? I planted you my chosen and fairest vineyard. I made you the branches of my vine. But when I was thirsty, you gave me vinegar to drink and pierced with a spear the side of your Saviour. Holy, holy God, God holy, holy and, and strong, holy, holy and immortal, have, have mercy upon you. us. My peace I gave which the world cannot give, and washed your feet as a sign of my love. But you draw the sword to strike in my name and seek high places in my kingdom. I offered you my body and blood, but you scatter and deny and abandon me. Holy, holy God, God, holy, holy and, and strong, holy, holy and immortal, have, have mercy upon us. I sent the spirit of truth to guide you, and you close your hearts to the counsellor. I pray that you all be what may be one in the Father and me, but you continue to quarrel and divide. I call you to go and bring forth fruit, but you cast lots for my clothing. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. I came to you as the least of your brothers and sisters. I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Holy, holy God, God, holy, holy and, and strong, strong, holy, holy and immortal, immortal, have mercy upon us. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and made us a kingdom of priests to stand and serve before our God. To him who sits, sits upon, upon the, the throne and to the, the Lamb, Lamb be praise and honour and, and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council held a consultation and they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, are you king of the Jews? And he answered them, you have said so. And the chief priests accused him of many things. And Pilate again asked him, have you no answer to make? See how many charges they have brought against you. But Jesus made no further answer, so that Pilate wondered. Now at the feast, he used to release for them one prisoner whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison, who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And the crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he wanted to do for them. And he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that it was out of envy that the chief priests had delivered him up. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release them Barabbas. And Pilate said again to them, 
Then what shall I do with the man whom you call the King of the Jews? And they cried out, Crucify him. And Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas. And having Jesus scourged, he delivered him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is the praetorium, and they called together the whole battalion. They clothed him in a purple cloak. They plaiting a crown of thorns and put it on him. They began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews. They struck his head with a reed and spat upon him. They knelt down in homage to him, and then they had mocked him. They stripped him of his purple cloak and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to crucify him. Psalm 22 My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And are so far from my salvation, from the words of my distress. O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. And by night also, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forebears trusted in you. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They put their trust in you and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord, let him deliver him. Let him deliver him, if he delights in him. But it is you that took me out of the womb and laid me safe upon my mother's breast. On you was I cast ever since I was born. You are my God, even from my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near at hand, and there is none to help. They compelled a passerby who was coming from the, in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who, have dis you, would, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now, so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. 
when it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he's calling for Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion, who stood facing him, so, so that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was God's son. Jesus, though crucified, is raised from the dead and now draws along us, aside us as we offer prayers to God for the world, the church, and all for whom Jesus died on the cross. We pray for the church of God on this Good Friday, that all who are disciples of Jesus will be given the grace and strength they need to walk in the way of the cross speaking words of love and truth in places of hatred and lies. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for God's world on this Good Friday, that the dying Jesus on the cross and the living Jesus of resurrection will draw all people to himself, the source of eternal reconciliation and salvation. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. We pray for the communities in which we live, work and worship, that bonds of love within families and between friends will be healed where they are broken and strengthened where they are weak. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those who are experiencing their own Good Friday darkness, that all who suffer pain of body or mind will be held by the hands of Jesus, which bear the marks of his pain and the promise of restoration and resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, at the foot of the cross on which Jesus died, we offer you these prayers in hope, trusting in your promise to hear us and in your power which raised Jesus from the dead. Let your grace, mercy, love and peace surround us and all those for whom we have prayed in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen.
go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Father Greaves, for leading the service with me. And thank you, St. Mary's Church Wardens and all who have contributed to this service. We are not able to share hospitality, which we would have normally done, to express our love and fellowship for one another, with one another, and thanksgiving to our Lord. But may we be still in the holiest of times, getting ourselves ready to rejoice on Easter Day when it arrives. <laughs>